Hello and welcome to prayer time at First United Methodist Church of Waynesville. I'm Terry Bevel, an associate pastor, and I'm glad you are here. I'm going to take a little different format today and talk about a group that we don't often mention in our congregation. In Sunday's pastoral prayer, I mentioned students going back to school for the students and the teachers and their safety and and their well-being in school. I mentioned students of all ages, but our minds just tend to go to school buses and lunch boxes and undersized kids with oversized backpacks when we think of returning to school. But for this time together, I want to focus on a part of our congregation that is seldom mentioned those who are starting college. In addition to the normal stresses of college, and especially in the, the first year of college, how will you get along with the roommate, your class load, your social life, there's the additional stresses of making decisions on your own, uh, being without adult supervision for much of your day or your week or your semester how you spend your time, and who you spend it with. But there are other dangers as well. As we were reminded just a few days ago by the shooting incident at UNC Chapel Hill that took the life of a faculty member. I'm going to read the first names of first-year college students from families within our congregation. Not all of the names that I will read are first-year students. Some are older siblings uh, whose younger sibling just started this year. I'm sure the list is not complete, but it is indicative and representative of our concern for college students in general. At least two of these students spent their first day of classes in Chapel Hill in lockdown. So as we recognize them, I hope that we will recognize the burdens of their life, even though college is not always looked upon, at least in hindsight, as a difficult time. It is when you're going through it. And I hope that they will remember what a privilege this is to be able to go to college and that they will remember this word from the Gospel of Luke. From everyone to whom much has been given, much is expected. These are our first-year college students and some of their older brothers or sisters. Landy, John, Matthew, Charlie, Olivia, Aaron, Grace, Addie, Luke, Caitlin, Torin, Joseph, and Finn. And now, let us turn our concerns to, or our attention to other concerns for this week. We pray for the family of Jeff Bennington in their time of loss and grief. Jeff's memorial service will be in the First United Methodist Church gym on Saturday, September 9th at 1 p.m. Debbie Smith is a member of our congregation who used to sing in our choir. She now lives in Kannapolis and has been diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer, which has spread throughout her body. Neil Tomlinson is a former member of this church, has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. It is some form of blood cancer, and oncologists do not think they can do much more. Uh, and so he is at hospice care. 
A friend of Barbara Iverson's daughter has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Sam Crane had emergency surgery to correct a tear in his retina. This was the fourth surgery on the same eye over several months and seems to have been successful. There is some blurry blurriness and swelling, but both those things should abate soon. Chris Nyland was diagnosed with lung cancer this week. And Carl and Bonnie Metzger asked for prayers for their adult son, Nick, who had a severe stroke during surgery. Jerry, Jerry Ann McDermott recently went through the birthdays of her late husband and her late mother and is dealing with the lingering loneliness that comes with the death of loved ones. And Phyllis Bryan is having cataract surgery today. Those who are receiving cancer treatment that are on our list include Brenda Griswold, Nancy Ray, Sandy Forrest, Anne Dismuke, Robert Clauser, Ted Neighbor, Christopher Holt, Reed Taylor, Sandy Brady, Stephen, Mike, Scott, May, Scotty, Irene Noland, Colton Jenkins, Barbara Malden's sister, Pat Marone, Ricky Pollard, Joe, Daryl, Lolly Hoover, Kyle Thompson, Marvin Matlick, Chris Eulery, Debbie Smith, Neil Tomlinson, Deidre, and Chris Nyland. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Loving and caring God, you have created for us a world of infinite variety of plants and trees and animals and of human beings. And as we celebrate the richness and variety of the world around us, Help us to appreciate the richness and the variety of other people around us. We pray for these students we have mentioned and for all who are engaged in the opportunity and the challenge of attaining a college education. Fill them with the confidence to meet the challenges of college life. Guide them in the way that they should go and protect them from the many temptations that can diminish or terminate their college experience. Bless them with the wisdom to realize the privilege that they have and the humility to recognize that they had little to do with the circumstances that allowed them this opportunity, that their skin color, family background, academic experiences were not in their direct control but were their good fortune in the created order. Guide them into the classes or the activities that fit their interests and their skills so that they may do much for your kingdom with the opportunity that they have received. And comfort those who are facing difficult diagnoses bad news from the doctor or the hospital, those who are dealing with the recent death of loved ones. For these, all these, we pray as your Son taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. We hope you have a wonderful and spirit-filled rest of your day. Amen.